Are you ready to discover who you came here to be? Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. Human design is a system and a tool that is here to empower you and show you your greatest potential. Come learn with us and discover who you really are. Hi friends, Crystal here. New year and new you, and boy, do we have some new tools for you to help you transform your life into the one you have always dreamed of. We have some new ways for you to connect with us over outside of the show. So we have a free guide on tips and tricks to honoring your strategy and authority. We also have a language manual to your true self to help you understand the key terms in human design and how to apply them to reading your human design chart and also to your life. And we are so happy to announce doors are now open for the cosmic community, which is a no commitment or five month commitment package to connecting with us over in our private Facebook group. You will have the chance to connect with Leah and myself each month with our premium episodes through our program plus monthly forecast. There's also weekly aura energy updates, weekly tarot card polls connected to a human design gate, monthly market shares for fellow entrepreneurs to share their work and exclusive bonus content you will not be getting anywhere else from us. Come join the cosmic community to understand how to utilize the transits to your advantage and have a safe space to learn, grow, and connect. And we also have our children's class called Nurture Your Child Through Their Design. And our most popular classes are our variable mini classes, which are bite-sized, self-paced audios and guidebooks on the first two transformations. And if you want to stay connected with some education and love from us, join our email list and check out our website, which you can find that and every offer I just discussed down below in the show notes. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you over on our next episode. Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. I'm Crystal. And I'm Leah. And this is the podcast you've been waiting for. <laughs> I never know what your, your last I never, are you never over. know. It's it's always a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Um so welcome. I cannot get this lighting right. And I I don't know why I keep trying to do it on this laptop. Supposedly the better computer. I really gotta get a better light. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Maybe you can make can you make a brighter? Um, yeah, I can try to make it brighter. Yes. Okay. That's what we should try to do <laughs> until I figure let this me, out. Let me make this. There we go. And then it won't look so I'll what? become, I'll become a white beam. No, and... no, no. I don't mean you. I'm talking about when you edit. Yes. But if I edit the whole, I have to edit the whole picture. So I don't want this like certain parts will be like really bright. Like the windows will be super bright because it edits the whole picture, not just oh. parts. I mean, I figured that, but it's just, I mean, all of it's kind of dark, but it doesn't yeah. matter. We don't have to talk about that now. <laughs> um. Anyways, welcome to the podcast. This is a podcast for a bunch of weirdos. So if you're a weirdo, then you've come to the right place. This is our weekly episodes where we talk about the transits through human design, astrology, and tarot. That's what the program is. It's like we're in this giant TV show, and each week we tune into a new episode. So we're going to show you how to go through this week's episode. 
Now I feel like I'm too. Okay. You guys are just going to watch me play with everything and just be very annoyed. Um, <laughs> anyways, especially cause you look like a pink bubble and I'm like, uh, Ray, I don't know. <laughs> Dark tan. Like my. You, you do look very tan compared to me. I'm. Well, I mean, I don't mean my skin. I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you might be. I You've seen the, the light. I mean, the color overall mm -hmm. is like a muted tan coming from my end. Like not my skin, like the color of the entire. Yeah. Box yeah. Is like a muted tan. So I'm going to I'm going to figure this out cuz this is driving me mad or else I'm also going to have to maybe go back to the other computer to record Zoom stuff. Hmm. I don't know. But I look I feel like I'm in the dark, which is I mean it's basically true because um my son is in the 12th house. We're also in Pisces season right now, so it feels fitting. I'm just sitting in the dark. <laughs> yeah. With everybody. Um, so anyways, so that's, what's, that's what this podcast is about. And we also do interviews. We might have an interview this week, actually. We're working on yeah. stuff up. There could be one coming out this week. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. You'll have to, if you see a bonus episode pop up, it means it happens. Yep. We're in the past and we're still, I guess, waiting. So Yeah. Well, we're in the last week of February when this comes out, which is crazy. February went by in like a blip. That's what, did I not say that's what was going to happen? You did. I yeah, did. did. I said everything that I say happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not everything. That's a little too hard to say, but a lot of, I'd say I'm 90% always right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The movie quote? Or you could say like 90% of the time, every time. <laughs> Anchorman. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the defined heart, though. And I also yeah. feel like uh, the channel of surrender can exaggerate a little bit. Like 2% of the time, I'm always right. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, anywho, it's early Any here. Uh, yeah. My my kitchen sink, there's a mystery clog. I I do know that Otis did throw some sort of a um like popsicle not a popsicle stick like a blow pop stick oh. down the sink Oops. and then I like made juice and I put in like some cucumber stuff and I put put that down there and then it seemed fine. Until the next day when Dave just like blew up and he's like, what is going on? And I'm like, what? I'm mm -hmm. like on the bike. I'm like, listen, my heart's accelerated. I need <laughs> to take that down 20 notches. And so it's the strangest thing because even if it, let's just say it was like my, um, the remnants of my, my celery juice stuff. It's so mushy, like it, it that it would eventually go down. Like it's not like I'm like, what is in there? We can't figure yeah. it out. And then Dave's pouring Drano down, and but yet you can't really because it's clogged. It keeps it's not going down, and then the smells and the fumes. And I'm like, I'm gonna I die. I am like, you need to call somebody today. I'm not doing this, and like we can't like do anything because you need your sink. There's one yeah. thing I realized redoing my kitchen is that you need your kitchen sink to cook anything or just yes. don't because it's, I don't want to deal with that. No. Yeah. Bathroom We've had ours back up sanitizer. and it's, yeah, we did our dishes in the, in the tub because it was like, I sanitized the tub and then I had to no. do the dishes in the no, tub. I'm not, not going to do that. No, I know. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> so I'm like, you have a dishwasher though. You could just throw everything in there. It would yeah, just be kind of chunky. I know you just got to ho hope that it gets most of it off and then you can yeah. wipe it off afterwards and, and you might have to read too, too low. I'm like, that's, we'll do the dishes we have right now. And then we're going to have to fit like, hopefully yeah. it's nothing major. 
And like, because I don't know how much, I'm like, how much is a new garbage disposal? You know, like when this stuff happens, you're like, well, how much is that going to be? And then like, I for you, you go sh- straight into survival. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, hmm. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, it's annoying to have to put out a chunk of money. But I'm like, we're fine. I don't, yeah. I don't worry about money anymore. Like sometimes it comes up and like where I feel like I'm not, I'm not making enough or I'm not working hard enough, but I know at the end of the day that we're, we're good. Yeah. So I don't free. I watch you go there sometimes and I'm like, Oh, it's like, that's what transference really looks like. And like, mm-hmm. for me with personal, like people would not probably take things that I take personally, personally. And it's just like it, your transference makes no sense. It's not mm-hmm. real. And yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting to witness it from like the the other, like if you don't have it to witness yeah. someone going into their transferred. Yeah. You're like, what? Like, why are you freaking out about like, <laughs> like, makes no it's sense. not true? It's like, not everybody hates you, Crystal. Like, calm down. Yeah. Like, I just didn't answer your text message in five minutes. Like it's everything's fine. Um, like that's it. We're friendships over. Um, right. <laughs> I My realize is the news there. So like when he sees me go into survival, he's it. I don't know what it does for him, but it does like send him into some sort of transference. I'll have to look and see, or some sort of not selfie kind of mode. He's like instant. We both kind of get, maybe it sends him on a wave. I don't know. Probably. probably. Well, he's survival too, right? Transferred survival. Isn't he? No, he's need. No. Yeah, uh, no. Motivation. But right. he, you. He might be. Yeah. I, I can't remember. Yeah. I should have that memorized. I know. I do. Right. I think I do. I'm pretty sure he's wanting. And yeah. so. Well, yeah. so then we both do, but I think he has a different view. Like we just have, you know, how people just have different money stories. Like it just well, his out. money story is different. Yeah. Uh-huh. But like, because we had this conversation quite a few times, actually. It's fine that you don't remember because <laughs> you're right brain. I'll remember the conversations. But yeah, I'm 99% sure he's transferred survival because you told me that like you'll both go in your own survival story. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's, that's interesting. Um, yeah. And you guys spend money differently, but it doesn't mean like, like I know another survival person that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. And I'm just like that all the times they're like, once you start seeing things kind of like close in, I think Mm -hmm. that's when the freak out happens because something happened in your childhood that had to create that story for you. These are all you, I feel like transference. If you really look back at pretty honestly, we all know pretty much everything stems from our childhood. But if you look at the transference pattern, you'll notice that there's key themes and key experiences that you actually had in your childhood that kept that transferred pattern on a loop. Cause we have to have it. This is we're, we're this is one of our biggest missions. <laughs> to really see the clarity around our our true view yeah. and the only way to see the true view is to see the opposite end you have to see the opposing end to know if it's correct or not or mm-hmm. like to know what's correct for you or not and so every time you transfer you're meeting resistance that's what's happening you're meeting and you're and it feels like a stuckness in your body and when you're in transference it means that there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to go you, your mind cannot find a way out. When you are in your true self, the mind surrenders to the possibility of whatever is going to be. Um, and then the body's like, I'll, I'll let me lead. And the, lead, the body will lead you to where you need to go. But the yeah. mind does not know where to go. And it does not know how to surrender in transference. It's looking for an out. Can't find the out. Yeah. It's like well, trapped inside like a mirror wall or like in a I don't know like a corn maze you're like ah (laughs) that's how I feel it is like a corn maze yeah and you're just like you you're like I'm pretty sure I've been here before I just did a I just did a (laughs) whole loop I thought I went a different direction and that's what transference is you're like 
well, maybe and I'm like, no. And they're like, I'm like, maybe they hate me because of this. They hate me because of this. This is it. This is the reason. And then I say, but what are you going to do about that? Like, what can you, it, let's just say, and then I say, well, what if it is true? If it is true, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You can't change other, you can't control my gay 21s. Like I'll control this situation. Just mm -hmm. <laughs> let me take the lead. My conscious moon says, and I'm like, what? I'm like, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Um, and then I'm like, well, it is what it is when I start saying. And then like when you start allowing it, even if it is the most awful thing your mind is experiencing, when you can just tell your mind, well, that's it. That's what it if this is it, then this is it. And la I'll just allow it to just kind of settle because then it'll eventually go back to the other way. Yeah, once you can kind of like turn it off and let it run its course. Yeah, well, let I feel the like that's run. And just it's also run. like good to do that. Like you've said that before, like it's good to just let the bitch out and just do what it's going to do because otherwise it's just sitting there trapped, you know, and obviously we come back to it frequently. But once you see the patterns and once you see what it is that's coming up, like whatever it is that that mind story that we keep telling ourselves and you recognize, oh, okay, this is this is what it feels like to be in transferred, whatever. And then you can let it go. Once, once you spot, I mean, it's it's a very clear pattern. And mm -hmm. transference, your not self, it speaks way louder than the true self. It is mm -hmm. a screamer. And mm -hmm. it, you know, it's 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 just a matter of saying, you know what? I hear you. If you have stuff you want to say, go ahead and say it. And then once you give them permission to just go off. They're like, oh, oh, you're letting me, you're letting, it's like you trick the mind into thinking they're in control and they're taking the lead, but they're really not. Yeah. The mind is like a dog. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's what I've come to the conclusion. The mind is seriously just an animal. We know that. That's what people mm -hmm. call like the monkey mind. It, 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 it is. It, mm -hmm. it, it and it doesn't it doesn't know what to do it really needs to allow somebody else to take the lead it's very clear we've all like we're always like up here not actually present in our lives like not there's that's not a way to live so it's going to continue to occur cuz you're human and transference is not a bad thing it, there's nothing there's literally nothing bad about human design if anybody tries to put no. you in some sort of box or say that it's definitely this it's an experiment that's all human design is and even when we're talking and it, it, maybe it sounds a little bit like this is this and that is that there really isn't there really it really is there's a framework <laughs> yeah and then see how that framework fits for you and experiment with it right i was just going to say that's why they call it an experiment or an experience like we're we're just here experiencing our design and seeing how it plays out and there's no like there's nobody saying you can or can't do it or whatever you know you just yeah. play around well, that's why i i called myself journey through hd because it is it is a fucking journey the whole mm -hmm. life experience is a journey do we being in your human design experiment is a fucking journey it's all a ride and so it's you know yeah that's it. my brain well tell us tell us about your um your podcast um you were a guest on a podcast recently you can talk tell us oh yeah that what that did happen like what was that a week ago um i was on tamed wilds podcast i don't know if anybody know knows who she is uh she does these like witchy subscription boxes she's really cool she's a manifester Two four splenic manifester. You should definitely go listen. Mm -hmm. I don't have it anywhere for you to to do that. It's called Witchy Business. I'm like, do I maybe I'll put it in my link tree in my on my Instagram if you want to go find it over there. I'll do that. I'll drop it in my link tree and you can find it there. It's a good episode. I don't did you listen to it? I'm gonna listen to it today. It's on my on my to-do list with everything else I have. But I'm excited <laughs> to hear it because that was one of the ones that like I 
want to like find more witchy podcasts and stuff. Oh yeah, she just has, to like clean the house too. She has some good guests on there. I, I've listened yeah. to some. I've listened to some of their episodes. They're they're funny. Um, her. I don't know what her uh co-host is. Uh, we didn't get to do her chart. I have a feeling, like honestly, either a generator or a projector. I don't. <laughs> I. I mean, or I mean, sh- anyone could be a reflector. So I don't. I don't try right. to guess those. Yeah. Unless like I really can't pin it. Like when I'm like, when I'm doing one of these, yeah. I'm like, maybe you're a reflector because I can't figure out. Like I had this one person that I became friends with um, that is a reflector. She, I remember I used to watch her at the gym. Be like, I can't, like, I can't figure mm-hmm. you out. There's something. Mm-hmm. It's, there's like a, a mysterious bubble around reflectors. Um. So when I see that, I'm like, maybe you're a reflector. It's hard to tell. Or you're a manifester and I just can't read you at all because like there's no reading a manifester. Yeah, yeah. So I just anytime I like meet a manifester and I'm like, they hate me, like I I'm like most likely a manifester. Um <laughs> that's <laughs> that's how I tell I'm like, and then I but you know what? It helps me because then I say, you know what? They're just they're just being they're just being themselves and it's not exactly. that they hate me we we all we always think manifestors hate us because they're not they're like uh, i'm trying to think of some like they i call them the cheetah but i'm trying to think of another like they're just they play hard to get they really play hard to get yeah, yeah. so but we love them we love you manifestors yeah we need you. i mean i have a little manifestor i i i I, I get you guys. I get mm-hmm. you guys on another level. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. But what actually I should share is what I, my, my trip that was weird. Oh yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, yeah. like weird and it was very, very sh- short. I was like, oh my God, we, we did this because it was driving for like eight and a half hours. Mm-hmm. Dave did not factor in any time at all. Like when and I I asked him quite a few times and he's oh he's here, he's not I mean he's here I mean he's hearing me right now because my door mm-hmm. is open. I said that I, we were talking about the time that you didn't factor in the time for uh-huh. for the drive. Are you also including in your podcast about how you did not? Well, I, I said I did ask you if you thought that that was a a good enough time to get there, but uh, uh, time to spare. I was oversight. It was. I did. I checked. I checked in a few times. Uh, so about I trusted you. I did a double check. I did a double check. Double check. I said so. Yeah, I was. I never make mistakes. Never miss. <laughs> oh, I got to talk about that. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Skedaddle. But that is what happened. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it was good. We had to hear both sides. <laughs> I'm not sure. Jo- I'm not sure. Jo- we were we were all over an hour late. Still going. I guess with all things considered without factoring in stop, we didn't factor in stops. Mm -hmm. Um, There was what there was like a bunch of stuff like traffic. Traffic in Maryland is awful. I don't know if you it's it's bad. Um, So we didn't factor that in. Mm -hmm. Dave knows the traffic in Maryland. He's from there. But no. So a bunch of stuff was not to consider how much longer it would have taken. on three hours of sleep how long is it going to take when i get us into a car okay all right that that's probability view right there guys if you wanted to see what that looks like (laughs) risk now it is that is is. exactly what probability view is risk analysis oh what was that one movie uh what was that one movie uh where Look, it was a com- comedic movie. No, get out of here. You're not on the pot. You're not actually on the podcast. Big. Big. No. Big. What is the movie with the where he did the risk analysis? 
it was a comedic movie. Oh, was it Ben Stiller in a movie? No one knows. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. I, I'm really bad with names of things, so I'm not sure oh. I would be able to come up with that. Um, I don't know. No, it's not Zoolander. Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't Ben Stiller. No. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I really... Dave... Okay. Anyways. This is what an also an undefined throat looks like. Um, They don't shut up. Yeah. I, I recognize this in myself. Um... <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so we were like an hour plus late to the Friday night dinner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as an open throat, walking in to have a group of people stare at me, large group, because they closed out the entire deli. I didn't know that either. Like the deli was closed out for this event. So there were wow. a lot of people in there. So I'm like, this is nice. I, you know, I've been driving for eight hours. I did my makeup in the car. Mm -hmm. Um which I did my hair before we left. Dave's like, why are you getting, again, why are you getting ready? Because I know what's about to happen, Dave. My spleen knows exactly what's about to happen. Um, and yeah, I just, I trusted that he had factored in these other times. Because it's like, I feel like that's common sense. You factor in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think. Don't I drive with, you don't drive with me time. then either. Because I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, if this you is wouldn't? the time. Mm. You would just look at how long it. You would just be like, okay, it's book, it's gonna yeah. take us this amount of time, so we're just gonna leave at exactly the same time. I might add like, like a half an hour, and that's probably it. Okay, we didn't factor that in either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we you were explained new that there was gonna be something. Yeah, so I prepared my, you know, I'm a one three. I was mm -hmm. like, we're gonna get majority ready. I had my makeup available mm -hmm. to do, um, and. And yeah, so that was that was interesting to go to do that. Um and I wore my my black spanks, if anybody was wondering, uh, <laughs> from last week's episode, which actually, you know, my spleen directed me to this too. Okay. Okay. My spleen directed me to to my outfits during the time mm -hmm. because with spleen and sacral award they were working together during this time even though they're not connected they were but actually we do have half that we do have the 27 in the south node i don't know maybe the 50 had come in a few times that i'm not aware of i, I doubt it but i'm just like making stuff up with that part here i'm not sure anyhow anywho so i don't know what happened and i don't know you know i i often wonder like with like uh pressure with like because we're really high up we're in the mountains so I feel like a lot of times when I come down from the mountains um to like a flatter area like my like our bodies are are, are adjusting and like going through their own sure. process yeah and so Dave and I both got very bloated mm -hmm. um and I can always I actually feel the pressure in my body once as we're you know how like an airplane like when yeah. you're going down for landing, it's the same feeling uh, when we come down from the mountains. And then I'm like, I, did, I never I never realized like how truly high up we are. I'm like, oh, wow, we're pretty high up. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, so yeah, we were both really bloated. And then like, obviously there was some bad foods we ate. Like it's impossible to not. Go yeah, not your us. normal daily stuff. Yeah. And like you know, desserts and stuff. And like there was 750 donuts. So I ate all of them. Um, <laughs> so when it came time for me to go in, into this like sleek dress, I put it on and I'm like, whoa, this is not what it looked like the three times I tried it on before this. And I feel very uncomfortable. It, what like my belly was just like, look like I gained five pounds and I'm like, mm -hmm. this isn't going to work out. Um, and I had brought this other dress that I thought I was going to wear to the surface part. And, uh, I didn't end up wearing it because I realized that it had a cut out back and also like low cut 
here and I'm at a temple. And I'm like, that's not what you're supposed to wear at places like that. So I just didn't factor in when I packed it. And then I was like, okay, so we have to, I had another dress that I had brought for, I don't know. So anyways, so then I was like, oh my God, I cannot wear this dress. Like I will just be like this the entire time. Mm -hmm. So, and like bringing me back to like any times I've felt overweight. I'm just like, that's a fun feeling. Um, so I I was like, oh, I'm just going to wear that other dress that like is, I feel like, you know, because this was black tie optional that that wasn't the most fanciest dress, but I'm like, this is also a kid's party, um, is what, and is what I said to myself and that nobody cares what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like, we don't, we always think everyone's looking at us or like people are going to care about, nobody gives a fuck. Like, just like nobody cares. And the the few people that do, who the fuck cares? So (laughs) this is the, this is why the way that I'm beginning to live my life. So I put on the other dress that was significantly looser to hide my, my bloating. And yeah, that was, that was my experience with that. And then the party was very, I really hope this is how I'll know if anybody in my family is listening to this with what I'm about to say. And I don't care. I'm just going to say it. The party was very underwhelming. It was very underwhelming. It was be- like the the setup was beautiful. Like it was all candy theme. Way too much fucking candy. Like there was like wow. these glass. So, so the tables were glass tables with candy filled in them. Like as like almost like a display, like all of the tables. Okay. And I don't know how many people were actually at this bat mitzvah, but um, so, you know, Dave and I were, we're, we were solution problem solvers, right? I'm desire. He's guilt. And so we're watching all these and like also with the, uh, you know, channel of surrender, all these poor executions happening. And I'm just like, how like it just there's so many i'm not going to get into the how how could this have happened but for example i'm going to give you a, a example here the tables with the candy they wanted the kids to be able to take the candy at the end of the night like get the candy from the table now at a kids party especially you're going to make that easier make that an easy accessible way for that child to get the candy mm-hmm. they did not do that um you would think that the table would either have like a drawer or a latch or something like you know or be short what or be like shorter so they can reach in no no well there's glass over it you have to be able to get over the glass so it was in a box it was in a box (laughs) so and i I was like or like you know it could have been like a pinata where like they have some sort of hole at the i i created my one three open head created yeah so many possibilities of what could this table could have been like. It was none of those things. It was just literally a heavy glass on with the candy inside. People are lifting up with forks and knives the glass to reach in. I'm like, this is so dangerous. My wow. my spleen, my defined spleen is like someone's going to cut themselves. The glass is going to shatter. I mean, these are children doing this. And so... Yeah, there was just a lot of stuff that I was like, like, I'm like, that that could have been easily like I would have saw that. Yeah. And I would have been like, what else can we do here? Because that's right. that's not gonna work out. Yeah. Uh, but the funny but who stole the show, to be honest, was Otis. Otis stole the show that night. <laughs> I don't know if you saw okay. So actually this week you'll be able hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um it'll come out. Uh, our uh, human design diaries. If you don't know, if you're watching us on YouTube, then you probably know. If you're not watching us on YouTube and you're listening to the podcast, then you might not know. But we have a YouTube channel that we you're, we're currently on right now as we're talking. And we also started um, three, I guess, episodes ago. We're doing monthly vlogs called human design diaries. This is deconditioning. And so we basically share our month of living as a generator and a projector. So if you're interested in that, 
head on over to our YouTube channel and watch the last three. And there should be another one coming out this week. Um, but yeah, so Otis, I, I record like Dave recorded Otis found a stage. <laughs> and of course, because he's, pa- he's passive mountains, he mountains. undefined throat. And he's a, he's a, he's a one, three generator. So, and he has the five fifteen channel. So mm-hmm. all of that combined, he finds the stage and he's like, I'm getting on this stage. And he's always, he loved this. I didn't realize like how much this kid loves stages, like just loves them. And so he gets high up and there's like, you'll have to watch the video. Like I'll go watch this out. It's just, I don't know, maybe cause I'm his mom that I think it's, funnier probably but I still think it's funny if you know human design and also just Mm -hmm. watching a little kid dance but then there's dancers in the background you got to watch in relation to like the dancers (laughs) in the background with him dancing and it's like almost like he wants to be a part of the action which he is yeah but it's just but he's like three so it's just it's very (laughs) it's very funny so he stole the show that night at least in my eyes and yeah, it was a very long but fast trip. It's like one of those trips that you like. It was like two days, but it feels like three weeks. Yeah, just went by. So. Yeah. Well, you condensed all of it into just a short period of time. Yeah, we were really there for like a day. Right. Wow. So yeah, anything new with you? Hmm. Um. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I we have a, a snowstorm right now. So I'm going to oh. I'm saving up all of my sacral juice to go outside and shovel eventually. Because I know that I'm gonna be using all of my horizontal work energy later to work on the program plus and um our other okay. offer that we have that you and Maureen have. Oh well oh yeah. Actually Which, go before we dive before yeah, we dive in that one. this week. Um actually both are going to be available to purchase this week it's hard to believe that we're it's going to be march 1st on yeah. wednesday but on wednesday this will be your opportunity to join the cosmic community Woo-hoo. so if you're listening to this on wednesday or if you're listening to this before mark your calendars wednesday mm-hmm. make sure you're on our email list or you go to humandesignastro.com and get in the cosmic community this is a fantastic group with yeah. A great group of people that joined us for um majority of them, almost all of them are are gonna be in for the five months. Yep. Um so you could either do a month, give us a try. Maybe you're just like, I need a little taste. I'm not sure if I wanna be in this forever, or you're just not a committed person. We get it. So we have you can do one month for 2323, or you can buy four, get one free. For what is it? 90, 93, 92, 92, 92. I was like, mm-hmm. hold on, that's not right. Um, 92, 92. And it's a really great deal because you get the program plus, which is like this, what we're about to enter into. So if you need a little taste, you'll you'll get a little experience of that. So we go through the monthly transit. So all the major players of the month through astrology, human design, and tarot. Leah actually connects the card that she pulls with the human design gate. So it's actually a fun way to see almost like a different angle or a different perspective with the gate to kind of give you a visual because it's it's a, very hard to get visuals with the gate. But I feel like when you coordinate it with tarot, it makes it a little bit more um, uh, easier to understand and yeah. process it and how, yeah. how it shows up. And so we have the monthly forecast and then we do weekly or energy updates where I do I provide uh, downloaded channeled messages through the transits for each aura type, each human design type. And also we talk about the human design sun and earth gate that week. And that's been really fun because it's been helpful for people to understand what the gates actually mean. And the transits are a very easy way. Again, yeah. it gives you a visual. And yep. the more you can have visuals, especially with human design, then you can actually start using it. So that's what we're here to help you do in the cosmic community. How to use your design and have like a symbiotic relationship with you in the transits, how to learn how to co-create with the universe. That's what you're going to learn in the cosmic community. 
And then Leah does weekly uh, Tuesday tarot polls. So that's connected to a gate, to a human design gate. So those are fun because, again, it it's kind of sets you up for the tone of the week. And then we also have monthly market shares where uh, the last Wednesday of every month, you can share your business or an offer or even just like your Instagram handle if you want to start connecting with more people in the community. Because mm-hmm. all these people have been very supportive of each yeah. other, of us. So if you're looking for support, like keynote support, we got the channel of surrender, come into the cosmic community. And okay. we also do moon circles as right. a bonus. Yep. Um, we have moon circles for the new moon and the full moon. Those have been extremely fun because we are helping each other manifest what it is that we're calling in. Mm-hmm. Whatever, however you want to say it, it's all the same thing. Okay. So we do the moon circles as well. And those are have been really fun. We'll actually have probably little snippets that if you need a little taste of what that looks like, also um on the human design diaries. And then I also have a workshop coming up with uh, another generator named Maureen Webb. And so this is about candle magic. If you're in, into magic, that's what this workshop is. It's really creating um, magic and abundance through ritual. That's what this workshop is called. And so we're going to go through candle magic. We're going to talk about spells. If you sign up um, from our wait list. So if you're, I would suggest if you're listening to this on Monday, jump on our wait list. You can find the wait list for our workshop in the description down below. Jump on our wait list because if you get on our wait list, purchase from our wait list um, on the 1st and anytime from the 1st through the 24th, then you are going to get a personalized spell on your human design and your incarnation cross. It's going to be, I've been working on some stuff. Maureen knows a lot about spells. And so it's going to be, that's going to be really fun. And then um, I'll be helping people learn how to activate a body graph grid and the sequence that I've come up with. We'll talk a little bit about Kabbalah and the tree of life and um, different ways to activate a human design grid. And then we're also going to talk about how to set up an altar and different types of altars you can have and there's there's a whole bunch of stuff and who knows what else we're gonna say who knows what else we're gonna say so it's going to be a three-part workshop so if you want to get on the wait list or if you just want to go ahead and purchase if you're listening to this after the first then go to the description down below and you'll be able to do all of that and that's mostly what's going on yeah it's all amazing stuff. I can't wait. And also, we'll be talking about some stuff with this on Instagram. So if you want more information with both the cosmic cosmic community or the magic workshop, then make sure you're following both myself and Leah on Instagram and also our joint page, Human Design Astro Club. So yeah. I guess send us a message if you have any questions, which is pretty straightforward, but people always have questions. And yeah, no question or if you're not able to get question. in, there's been sometimes a couple of glitches. Yeah. With, uh, you know, things happen with technology. So for some reason, like, don't hesitate that if like, because there there was another um, workshop that I was trying to take recently from somebody else. And like, they had like their old copy on there and it's like not set up. And I was like, do they know that this is Mm. not updated? And so sometimes, you know, as business owners, we're, we got our hands in a lot of places and we think we did something or we over, we, we just missed it or technology is just being a little bitch, you know, <laughs> there, it, there's many factors. So for whatever reason, anything that you're trying to purchase from either of us or from us jointly and it's not working, do not hesitate to reach out to us because we will fix it immediately. But sometimes mm-hmm. we don't even know it exists. Right. Like the last time for some people that were trying to join again from that we're just trying to do the monthly because you can just keep joining monthly. But what happens is, is you get removed from the group. If you're in the cosmic community and you're only doing monthly, you'll get removed the last day of the month. And then you can rejoin. You got to purchase again the next day. And you purchase again, and then you ha- you invite yourself back into the group. But what happened last time was because if you already purchased, um, there we have a new uh, website platform 
we were using, we didn't realize we had to remove old people to for that had previously purchased to do that. So it wasn't allowing some people to purchase. And it wasn't until somebody told us right. that that was happening. We didn't know because- yeah, We had no idea. Yeah. Because it doesn't, we, that part doesn't show up on our end. There right. would be no way for us to know unless somebody told us. Mm-hmm. So thankfully, somebody did tell us a one three, of course. Um, <laughs> I was like, a, I said, of course, it was you. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much, Heidi, if you're listening to this. <laughs> um, she's in the cosmic community. And so, yeah, it's it's going to be a really good time. So join us in the cosmic community. Definitely join the magic workshop. And uh, let's talk about this week because there's... Hi friends, are you looking for a fun way to learn human design and astrology? Are you a tactile person that likes to learn with your hands, touch cognition perhaps, or would like to get more in touch with your inner child while you learn human design and astrology? Well, we might have just the person and also activities that you can do to allow your inner child to be filled with joy while learning and discovering more about human design and astrology. Look no further than Innocence Motivation and 2-4 Sacral Generator, Maureen Webb, that is here to bring the generator fun. She has come out with her Defined Head in Ajna, a fun and interactive way to learn human design and astrology with her brand new coloring and activity books. Yep, that's right. There's more than one. Head on over to her website through the link in our description and check out her intro to human design coloring books that include key phrases, keywords, images, and a word find to color in. And wait, she also has the good twin and the evil twin coloring books out as well. More are on their way, so make sure you follow her to be in the know. She's also a human design, gene keys, and astrology reader. So pause this video right now and go pick up one of her fantastic and inspiring coloring books that will bring out the inner child in you. Hi friends. Okay, I know you've already heard me come on here once before, but I have a very important message for you. Are you an entrepreneur? a fellow weirdo looking to reach an audience on an offer, a program, a reading, a product that you're looking to sell. We have the channel of the entrepreneur and we're looking to create very specific commercials for other entrepreneurs such as ourselves. If you're looking to get your voice out there, we have over 15,000 plays on this podcast plus a YouTube channel, and we can create a very specific commercial for you to reach our audience and your message. Go down below in our description and fill out the form because there's an introductory offer waiting for you. See you over on the rest of this episode. There's there's some stuff going on. It's not, it's, I mean, I feel like last week it was just like a million things happening. Mm-hmm. This week's a little less of that, uh, but a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of prosperity that started, that came in at the end of last week that is going to be in throughout this entire week. So definitely take advantage of opportunities that might come your way. There's a lot of opportunities for people this week. So we kick off the week on Monday. What is it? The 27th um, where we left off last week. And this is a focus on our family and community huge part of what's happening right now. So Monday is a great day to connect and maybe do a family dinner or go make plans with your friends. And what's grounding you this week is your heart. So what do you need more support on? Might be a question to ask yourself this week, or at least at the beginning of the week. And this is something we discussed more in detail at the end of last week's program. So definitely go listen to last week's episode if you missed it. And what's interesting this week is that this started, this started um, with almost this. This week has double the willpower. So for all the open, undefined hearts, 
I, I was like, when I was looking at this, I'm like, I, what does that feel like to be an open, undefined heart and then to have like this double willpower come in, like two channels is what I'm saying, come in at the same time. And what is that experience like for you guys? For me, I actually have half of one of the willpower channels that are coming in and I, I'm already a defined heart. So or actually I have half of both of them. I just realized, just kidding. <laughs> I have half of both of them. And then I have my own channel of surrender that I, I'm a defined heart. So um, we actually haven't gone into that energy yet. We're in the past. So I'm, I'll be, I'll be watching. This is when you, when you have this, uh, these connections that happen through the transits, it's really when you should just be like, okay, I'm going to observe the energy for this week and see what comes up. So we have a really opportunist, I'm um, sorry, we have a really opportunistic placement with the money line because that's what's coming in this week that's really going to be a support. There's two very supportive tribal channels that are coming in with this. So this is the moment that everyone has the baton is what I look at it as this week, especially because we have such a uh, significant period, period of time with this energy. Also, um, as we're like, approaching spring, you know, and things are opening up for us. Like there's, as I, as I've been saying, and you'll hear me say, I hope you come listen to the program. Plus we're in the lightning round. This is what I call. <laughs> if you want to learn what the lightning round is and learn how to take advantage of the lightning round, cause I am somebody threw me the baton and I'm, I'm going to take off. I'm just, I'm, I'm all you can do right now during the lightning round is try. Even if you fail, even if things don't work out, something will come of this, something, even if it's not what you thought, something is going to come of this energy that's coming in right now that's going to be super supportive in the process that you're moving towards or that you truly want in life. This is going to be your time and we will talk more deeply about that in the program plus because I have a lot to say. There's a, there's a lot coming in. We have, what, what do we have? Saturn and Pisces coming in. Um shortly we have a lot of stuff coming in with march 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 is like the month that uh shit starts to unfold for everybody so and i feel like this is just the beginning of that this week is kind of giving us that setup of that so i'm very excited especially to have you know march 1st the money line ready that's like setting the tone like really look at the first day of the month what does that chart look like that's what we do in the program plus, we talk about what the chart looks like astrologically and then also human design so that you can kind of get an overall tone of how that month's going to actually go. That's like the prep time that sets you up for like what what are the possibilities? What are the potentials that's happening on the first day of the month? And so we'll talk about what that tone is in the program plus. So what else do we have going on? So this is the moment that I said everyone has the baton and you're going to start running. Okay, because this is an opportunity to really expand your dreams. It's almost going to feel like the beginning of spring. We're at, we're at, we're like things are blooming. Okay. So this is actually, I already saw a tree in the front of my house already has all of its flowers already. I was like, oh my gosh, it's already spring here. We didn't, we're, we barely had a winter. Um, so it's already spring here and I'm fine with it. I'm ready. I'm done with winter. So this is, and this is kind of what we're going to be feeling like this week. Oh, we're, we're entering into this new phase now. So this is going to be, uh, a great week to pitch yourself. If you have a business, um, a, a door, an opportunity, might open up for you that you maybe didn't expect, uh, especially if you're an entrepreneur, or you have a business or any sort of your career, maybe even work. Maybe this is a, a time your boss is going to give you a raise or maybe through the next week. I say, look at the energy of what's going on and then also kind of look at it the next week or two weeks, depending on how much that energy expands out. Um, you're going to kind of see, you might see some aftermath like happening afterwards. It's not just like just condensed into just when that energy is there, you still have, it's still, you know, a little bit, you have, you can take advantage of it a little bit before and a little bit after as well. So a door might open for, for some of you in some way. Um, it's important right now to realize that you have abundance all around you. That's what this week is going to help you see. So Thursday, we get a new program with a focus on a mental pressure. So there's going to be a review to focus on. There's some sort of completion happening at, at the end of this week in, into the next. 
So there may be, maybe with all the crisis, you know, transitoriness energy that we've had going on, maybe a crisis is going to reach a conclusion, maybe some sort of clarity around an old situation. And then we are going to be grounded in completion. So once we focus on the review of it, then we can allow the earth to support us in the process of endings, some sort of completion. So this will be a time to hold space for conclusions and really allow yourself to welcome in new energy. We are moving towards spring, and this is a week to wrap up any of your tasks, projects, or anything else that will allow you to enter into this next season. So there's also a healing energy coming in. I really wanted to talk about this on here because I feel like it's important. I sure, and we'll talk about it more um, in the program plus, but for whatever reason, I want to mention it on here. So there's a healing energy coming in um, on Friday with the Venus conjunct Chiron. So I talk about this because I, sh I shared in my stories and on my feed that Pisces season will carry a lot of opportunity to heal our inner child, to really face uh, head on our demons and our blocks. And this day will be an opportunity to do that, especially with Venus now in Aries. So it's really here to be that cardinal support that you need. So Maybe Friday might be a good day or even Saturday might be a good day to just allow yourself to look back on anything that's been holding you back, blocking you, maybe even experiences from your childhood. We were just talking about that earlier, like looking back on the person that you were when you were younger. And if it's kind of holding you back in some way, this might be an opportunity to allow yourself to feel through that with Pisces season. So that's mostly what's going on this week. Wow. So, I mean, I feel like I've seen this every single week, but I got the seven of pentacles and pentacles in themselves represents money abundance. Um, the seven is about reflection and about assessing like your, what's going on about knowledge of your current situation. Um, but I also feel like this one has to do with like you said, taking away, like removing things that aren't working anymore. And sometimes we need to like pick the weeds and pick yep. the things out that aren't, that are kind of taking up space for the fruit to bloom or for the flowers to bloom. And so, I mean, he's kind of standing here in contemplation. He's thinking, okay, what do I need to do to get more fruit, to get more abundance from what I've planted? And so like taking out all of the weeds, all of the things that aren't um, helping you bloom and grow will be really important. And it, I mean, the money line is coming in. So like, it's just really yeah. interesting that we got a pentacles card and very fitting. Um, so maybe like ask yourself, like you said, what is it that's no longer serving me? What do I need to reflect on? Um, I would say also, you know, like look at your situation and what's, what do you need to, what seeds do you need to plant to, I mean, we just went through the new moon, so maybe it's a little bit late, but you can still do any sort of intentions. Well, I mean, um, anything really between until we get to the next cycle. Right. Like, I feel like, you know, we trap ourselves in these boxes where, oh, the energy is only coming in on this day. Yeah, true. Like, if you don't use your authority in that time, in that yeah. time, it's like, maybe I do need to create a little ritual or activate a grid mm -hmm. or something. And actually I was preparing for yesterday. It's so funny that you pulled seven of pentacles because I was right because I was writing about um the seed of life um mm -hmm. grid. And that's seven, so that's seven uh circles. So there's one circle in the middle, and then there's six mm -hmm. that um are connected to it. And that's actually represents, yes. The Star of David represents the uh, seed of life. And it's really what I I had a visual yesterday about it that I didn't actually fully uh, see before. But it's like, okay, we all come from this one source energy, right? That's the middle circle. Okay. Yep. And then if you think about the six hexagrams, the six lines in human design, that's the six circles that are represented outside of that and showing that we are all connected to to one source energy we've just mm -hmm. branched out into these other little beings to go through these experiences and still we're still but we're still connected to that one source energy but we've 
we're in the illusion of the Maya where we think we're separate. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's so we're going to talk about that in the class. I like I was like, wow, we need to go a little deeper in this. I had a whole realization with that. And so, yeah, we're going to go into some of these grids and that's a grid to do for abundance because seven's mm -hmm. a very lucky number. Mm -hmm. And seven is about uh, in numerology. It's about up leveling. It's mm -hmm. when you get a chance to up level. And so I was like, okay, we're going to talk about this grid. And this is a grid that you're going to want to do when you're looking to create more abundance uh, or prosperity in your life. If you're looking to up level your business, for example, you'll want to do this grid. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really fun class. I, I, that's so funny that you pulled that card because that was just a coincidence. And that was the grid. I was like, we need to have a deeper yeah. conversation about this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's all connected. It really is. Like everything is. I actually, interestingly enough, I picked a different deck today. This is called the Soul's Journey. Um, and these are just, they're called lessons cards. I feel like these are kind of oracle-y, but in like a, not as a a witchy kind of way. So yeah. these ones have really, perf really great, um, what do you call these? Affirmations? <laughs> no, like the symbol. A mandala? Uh, yes, that's that was the word I was looking for. Well, it just I, wasn't you didn't to point me. to it, and I was no. like, I don't know what you're trying to get me to. You're say. like what? <sighs> no, yeah, the the mandalas are all different on these cards, so they all have like some some sort of like if you look at it, you can visualize um, courage from this card. Oh, I like that. So and yeah, and they each I can show you a couple. Like each of them has a different oh, wow. picture. Yeah. Oh, so they're pretty. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the soul's journey lesson cards, I have no idea where I got them. They're probably pretty old, but they might be online. I, obviously we're not sponsored by anything. I like to say that too. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I got courage and it says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all fears disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it's an opportunity to prove to yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you may find yourself two steps back only to face the same obstacle again. And we talked about kind of that with like transference, like if you're ignoring all of the, you know, the, when things come up again, then you're going to see it over and over, but you're able to kind of pull yourself away from transference or come back into yourself when you recognize the patterns that are coming up and yeah. having the courage to kind of face those fears without any sort of like trying to identify with the fear or with the transferred state. I feel like that's, that's the key. That's literally the key is whatever's mentally coming up no matter what, to just not I not attach to it, not identify with it and know that it's fleeting. Like a lot of emotions stem from mental patterns that we're going through or that we've experienced. And it's about saying, you know what, maybe this is the feeling that's happening right now. But if I allow myself to just sit with whatever that feels like, good or bad, that ever my mind is associating black or white, then I can allow myself to maybe overcome parts of that like we're healing does not operate on a linear timeline it just mm -hmm. it's people are like i thought i healed this you know there's probably more layers there's a, if you're living and breathing there's going to be probably more layers like maybe it's, it's it becomes less triggering i think after a while with certain things depending yeah. on what they are but you'll probably find another lesson in regards to it in some way. And this is in, in Kabbalah. They talk about this. This is called your tikkun, which means correction. We all have come this life to correct something that maybe, I mean, I believe in past lives. I mean, cl like clearly, I'm. Uh, let's be real. I believe in past lives. And so I feel like a lot of times this is stuff that karmic healings that come up that, you know, 
we needed to grow from. That's all it is. That's all mm-hmm. the human experience is, is this one source energy decided that it wanted to learn what it meant to feel, wanted to learn what it meant to give, wanted to learn what it meant to share. And so it decided to explode into billions and trillions, trillions of pieces. And we are that. That is us. And one day I will make that Kabbalah post. One day. <laughs> I feel like someone's just going to have to pay me at this point. Um, <laughs> Because that's the that's what motivates me, yeah. um, you know, like free stuff as a defined heart. I'm going to be completely honest I'm about to say something and I I don't know, whatever you can think that I'm an asshole. It take if it's if it's something that's free or very low cost, I don't. And this goes for a lot of people like don't have the energy to do it. Mm hmm. It's just, I, I need someone to offer me some money. Like I had, so I had someone, uh, some business email me actually recently. I don't think we really talked about this, but I was, I was very proud of myself because I was like, absolutely fucking not. Um, they emailed me and wanted me to make some content in regards to empowerment for their business and like what I do. And so I like the recognition. I actually, I was like, Let's let's look at the positives here. I appreciated I appreciated the recognition that they see that that's that's my view, right. power, yeah, and I'm desire, desire motivation. So I was like, well, thank you for recognizing my true self. I appreciated that so much, but you're offering me way too little of money to do what you're asking me to do. And so I said that to them. I said I have two businesses and I make way more money than what you're offering me, and I cannot take this offer. I would have it would have to be this price. I gave them the price for me to do that. So then I thought that that w- I was never going to hear from them again, and that would be it. They came back, oh. <laughs> and they offered me more money, but it was not the price that I had set. Right. So then I said no, no. I said it's this price or nothing. I'm not. I was like, I'm going to have to take a lot of time out of my schedule and close my books for. Th- I won't be able to do readings. Because I would, I would, they wanted me to do 10 videos, 10 10 minute videos. I was like, do you know how long that will take? And so, yeah, so I said no. Uh, And, and yeah, I feel really good about that. I feel, you know, generators, we don't say no enough. I feel like a lot of times Um, we have a very, we're very conditioned. We've been very conditioned at a young age to say yes to everything because we have the energy to fulfill. Do, 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 go do it. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, I have to start saying no more, which I have been, but I'm just like, when I get the opportunity to say no, I'm like, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. There's a lot of power in saying no too, because you're, you're also recognizing yourself for like that, that doesn't suit my energy. That doesn't work for me. Like my energy is better put toward helping other people with readings who are going to benefit from that and I feel like when generators say no like hard no's like the universe goes like I noticed for myself and this is something I noticed big when uh gate 12 came in retrograding in Mars when everybody was like I'm blocking everybody and I'm going private (laughs) on my account and I was like I'm blocking people too um (laughs) so I every time I blocked somebody I made money it was like the crazy. It was like the it was crazy. like here you go. Here's an exchange. Every time I so I, listen, generators, <laughs> just start saying no. I can't. I cannot say that enough. Just start saying no, and maybe I'll talk about it more on social media because I know I don't talk about enough about generators. I just feel like you know, we have the easiest role at everybody, but we're the dumbest. I'm just gonna say it. It's true. We. We are the most conditioned. We really are, like we are so uh, stuck in reaction instead mm-hmm. of response. Yeah, very true. So just start saying no. Just start saying no. I like it's, we we think that oh well if I say no then that means that I'll get nothing. That's that's what the generator thinks. The generator right. thinks that if they say no to this then nothing else will show up. It's actually you know that's the illusion of the Maya. It's going to try to convince you to stay small. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's, you got two options, either be supported by them and be awake to what's happening 
or you can get trapped in the illusion that's not real and you can stay small. And so every time a generator says, no, that is not what my energy wants to do, then the universe goes, oh, well, if that's not what you want to do and you're also standing in your worth, let me raise the bar. Let me, it's actually, that's what actually happens. Let me raise the bar and then let me offer you this. And every, I've noticed every single time I do that, it's like way bigger than whatever I thought it could possibly be. Yes. So please generators start saying no. And if you need help, come find me. I guess it's time (laughs) to finally open my April calendar. So if you would like to get a reading, um, you can either reach out and talk to me about it directly, or you can just go ahead and book. I also have other readings that if you can't get in with me, because I know I have limited spots, that if you can't get in with me, there's uh, record pre-recorded ones that I do as well, and that I don't talk about enough on here. And then I also have a PDF version. If you want to just get like the Cliff Notes version of your chart, like literally everything, like all the gates, channels, all the basics as well, you can also order that. And that comes in about a week. So yeah. And they're all amazing. <laughs> they are. They are. I will. That's one thing. I, I still have about. my notes from our original one. Oh yeah. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, remember that time mm-hmm. we did, we did the- all over. I have three different charts and I, I printed them all out and then I wrote on every single one of them as we did the reading. It's all yeah. over it. I remember that day. Actually you had your, this is so weird. I, you had your <laughs> little, you had your little spray and I remember because I always did the sage and the paleo santo at the beginning. And so then you're like, let me go get my, and you're like spraying your little air. <laughs> <laughs> so I still do it. <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago. At least it feels like it. Yes. Um, so you've got a lot of opportunity this week, guys. Sure don't, do. Don't you hold yourself back. Like I said, even if it doesn't work out of what you thought, Something else bigger is coming for you. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you tried is what's going to give the message to the universe to open up another door. Mm -hmm. So, you know, failure is just not trying at all. So even if it doesn't work out the way you thought, something else is coming. But this is the week to try. This is the week to try. Yeah. Have the courage. Yes. Just try it. Exactly. Be a defined heart for a week. (laughs) You will be. We all will will be. Defined hearts for at least a week. Um, so have a good week. Yeah. Have a good and week. We'll see you over on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Crystal and I are really here as defined hearts to provide value to you with our unique insights. If you have found any of this episode valuable to you, we ask that you share with a friend, tag us with a highlight on Instagram, and write us a review so we can reach more people. Human design and astrology are tools to guide us toward our transformation. You are a unique and beautiful being, and we encourage you to let that light inside of you shine bright. See you in the next episode, friends.